Okay, sorry for the technical difficulty. Today I am pruning the branches that I had cut down in my backyard. I ended up with six branches. This is one branch. This is not a tree I planted. This is one branch. And look at the structure, the form of this tree at the top. I can't wait to spray paint it. I'm going with, I chose to do white. And right now I'm out here pruning away the leaves. And because this is a deciduous tree and there are still, there were still some leaves on the tree all the branches with the leaves are still green as you can see deciduous meaning of course if you're not a gardener the tree loses its leaves in the fall comes back in the spring buds back out if you're lucky this is not a tree i planted this tree was here when i still bugs out gnats and bugs the sun is out this is a part two because my phone fell <laughs> i didn't want to bring it. i finally got me a tripod and i didn't want to bring it out it's sunny and i wasn't gonna make a long video just want to show you guys what was today's project Today is November 14th. And I wanted to start on a different project than this one, but when I walked outside, that's exactly why I had my son bring this tree to the front yard. These trees, branches came from the backyard and I said, Drag, he pretty much had to drag them, so I'm pruning away the leaves because I don't want to spray paint the leaves. They're going to fall anyway and mess up the paint. And I said, just drag them to the front yard. He had to drag them because this one is pretty heavy. Um, so he had to drag them and throw them over the fence. <laughs> And some of the branches were broken, which doesn't bother me at all. This is not a permanent structure. This is just for the holidays. This is just to keep my mind off of things with my free time. I'm loving these branches. I already pruned this one. No, I thought I did. I'm also pruning away the branches that were broke when he had to drag them from the backyard. So this one is done. Well, I keep thinking it was done and it it's not. It did have a lot of branches, but I'm pruning away the green as well. It'll be just a waste of spray paint. And then I wanna be left with all hard wood. See, this green is soft. It probably was a second flush of branches and leaves. And so, this is what I'm left with on this branch. This is not a tree, again, this is not a tree that I planted. It was already here, and it is a thorny tree. I would go ahead and uh, clip that but the branches I'll be able to pick up. I won't be able to see these. And then I may step on them. Because they are really thorny trees. So this one is done. And I have this one to do. I am pruning pieces like that. It'll be just a waste of spray paint. So if this was a crepe myrtle tree and most time during the fall 
people prune their crepe myrtles all the way down. Maybe just leaving two, three feet. If this was a beautiful structured tree like a crepe myrtle, do you guys see the trunk smooth and texture or a birch? I would try to preserve it, but that tree is so thorn thorny and I do not prune my crepe myrtles at all. I only have one. <laughs> I don't prune mine at all in the top. I mainly just during the spring when it's pruning season, I will prune the suckers away. I am not the type of person that make deer antlers out of their trees and wait for a flush of new growth every year. I'm not sure why people do that. Someone comment down below. I don't know if they do that to make the tree stronger. I don't know. Um, but or make the trunk widen I don't know but um, I'm not going to do that with my crepe myrtles and this tree is nothing I want to preserve I am not sure if I'm just going to if it dies because I think I'm going to put it in pots and get me some base gravel rock and fill that pot up at least three-fourths of the way if not 95 percent of the way and then put decorative rock on top the white uh what maybe some white pebble rock because the tree is going to be spray painted white so i'll probably um do that and i want it to it's a sunny day, warm, not cold. I am not sure how many rainy days we had between day four to seven of me beginning the Christmas decoration outside. I'm not gonna do many decorations on the inside. I have grandchildren and the last year, they seem to love the tree so much. They end up getting bored with looking at how pretty it is. They want to touch it. So we're not going to cause them stress and anxiety and me either. I'm probably just going to decorate the mantle, my faux mantle, and hang some ornaments from the ceiling <clears throat> to make it whimsical because Christmas is for them. It's for me as well to put me in the holiday spirit and to decorate with all these clearance decorations I always buy. Because your girl gonna go to a, I'm gonna hit up the clearance sections, the clearance stores, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Big Lots, Home Goods. At home, when those clearances hit 80 and above, Walgreens, I'm going. And I put it away to the next season. And I, and I look for colors that I'm working with. Red is my color, silver, champagne, gold, and white is my colors. I like to switch that up. One year traditional. The next year glam this year is for it's glam on the inside traditional on the outside i'm probably always going to do traditional red on the outside so i would love to build up my decorations for the outside because you know the weather fades we have sunny november december we have some rain as well we have some cold nights not that much frost our frost normally happens january through april but um i think i'm done with this one almost 
just taking away the green and taking away any broken branches that happen during transport and any leaves so let me step back and show you guys what this one looks like look at that imagine that standing up in a pot imagine if this was a manzanita tree a birch tree a crepe myrtle i would shellac that and i'll probably bring that inside but we're going to use these for outside i'm going to spray paint them white this is kind of going to be like an asmr For those that don't want to hear me talking, <laughs> you could just mute the video. And just watch me prune away. And this is a quick project. Um, we cut these branches down. It was a sunny day. And it rained on these branches. I was like, oh my goodness, my branches are getting wet. Um, but it was only, I was want, wasn't sure how many days it would rain. So I was like, oh my goodness, and that's going to hold up the project. That's why you start early. If you're going to do creative things like this, um, it's not in my budget to buy branch outdoor trees not even in my budget to just buy a few ambergreen arborvitae or regular christmas trees and just decorate with those because i want to do it the i love diy i love being creative diy is what's going to set you apart from everyone else They make white LED trees for outdoors. And that's what this is going to be, a white LED tree. I'm going to not only spray paint it, I'm going to wrap it in LED lights for out, outdoors. So this is going to be a white LED tree. If it was a tree that I was trying to preserve or take inside, I would probably shellac it. or treat the wood with a stain and take it inside but i'm gonna spray paint this white just some cheap the cheapest white spray paint i saw at lowe's i believe every, each can was 2.99 that one is done took care of all the green branches as well as any broken branches see how that structure looks and these that are um, small individual ones I'm gonna put those in the same pot so I'm only gonna have two only gonna have two I stepped away from that large one <laughs> when I had to reset the start on part two of this video. And there's going to be a three part, but I'm just going to make it a final. The reveal. The way this is growing down, I'm going to just chop that. That's going to be the reveal. So you're going to have a part one of me just pruning and explaining it. Part two, a more close-up, in-depth, just talking with you guys. How's your Christmas decoration going? Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you for the, anyone that just clicks on my video and watches two minutes, five minutes, or the, the entire video. <laughs> I 
I started decorating the day after Thanksgiving. I'm sorry. I apologize. The day after Halloween. Halloween day, I probably pulled out everything because I don't decorate for fall or the Halloween indoors or outdoors. I only do Christmas. I don't do Easter, spring, summer. I like to focus on my already existing plants, perennials, annuals, and trees and shrubs. I like to take care of that during the spring. The winter, I am like a bear. I hibernate. I don't want the inside to that is what I decompress I don't want to see holiday decorations at all but I'm gonna let you guys go and I am done with these branches and I'm gonna work on the last two that I have here and the next video you will get about the DIY branch will, will be the reveal. Reminder, I am spray painting. Step one, cut down the branches. Possibly from your own yard or go out into someone's, <laughs> go out into the woods that no one lives and get you a fallen branch. Step two, wait for the branch to dry if it's during a rainy season and bring it home. Hopefully it's not a thorny tree like I am working with. Step three, stand the trees up, pot them, concrete them in cement or use road gravel and use a decorative gravel on top and step four, if you have a tree such as a manzanita, birch, or crepe myrtle, you could either stain that tree and or stain that tree or spray paint it. Any choice of your color, I'm doing white. Step four, I am going to wrap every branch at the from the trunk to the thick branches with LED lights and step four I may possibly hang some crystals acrylic crystals or ornaments and the reason why I'm doing this because I do not have any trees in my front yard the only tree I have is my crepe myrtle and I do not cut it down and this is a prime example. My neighbor has a crepe myrtle. I didn't know she was doing this. And this is my example of people pruning their crepe myrtles down to down to the deer antlers. And but hers was more like a bush form. Her crepe myrtle, as you can see. My crepe myrtle is more tree form because of the two branch trunks I have, but hers is more of the shrub form, and and it looks like her branches. That's probably if I had known, I probably could have inspected it and see if it was something I wanted, but it's not. So, and she's gonna just give her tree another chance to. Um, grow more healthier I don't prune mines like that but that's a prime example if it was a crepe myrtle tree that was this big and they actually chopped those two trunks down I would love to have that form in a pot and I would probably shellac it or even bring it inside like a sunroom or a covered porch or covered patio or covered deck and do that LED light stringing up like that. I would probably love that. But 
thank you guys for watching those are just some diy ideas and the reason why i'm doing this is because i wanted to try this i've been wanting to do the fallen branch diy stream with led lights or spray painted i've been wanting to do that forever and this was my opportunity and year thank you guys for watching please comment and subscribe and like and share the video stay tuned for the reveal they may take me about a week but hopefully i can do the reveal the day of thanksgiving or the day before bye bye